Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming next. Good Sports was recorded live on Saturday, October 15th. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show. I am Steve Fish. I'm the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. Today we're here at Kansas City Chiropractic, the offices of a regular guest on our show, Dr. Lynn McIntosh. Kansas City Chiropractic believes in a natural approach to health and wellness that's non-invasive and non-surgical. They provide chiropractic services as well as deep tissue laser therapy, acupuncture, massage, spinal decompression, physical therapy, and more. For more information, contact Dr. McIntosh at 816-753-4600. Visit their website at kansascitychiropractic.com. Or stay tuned because we'll be talking with Dr. McIntosh in just a minute. Before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness can be picked up at over 700 locations in KC, and it's absolutely free. Also this month, KC Sports continues to celebrate our 19th straight year as the Sports Illustrated of Kansas City. Now, in our hockey report presented by the KC Ice Center, we write about the outdoor winter classic hockey tournaments scheduled at KCIC. Plus, this month's issue features the KC Ice Center Winter Sports Guide. And in Chloe's Corner, the Wren Insurance Tennis Report, we talk with Chad Anderson about his Put Out the Vibe Tennis Racket Vibration Dampener. So we're here at Kansas City Chiropractic, and uh, we're joined by Dr. Lynn McIntosh. She is a board-certified chiropractor. She's licensed in Kansas and Missouri. In addition to being licensed to provide general chiropractic care, Dr. McIntosh is a certified chiropractic sports physician. She works with athletes from multiple disciplines on specific sports-related problems. Welcome to the show. Thank you for hosting us today, Dr. McIntosh. Absolutely. I, I Thank always you, appreciate it. Um, so... Uh, we're going to talk about uh, one of the articles. That actually, you've done this a couple of different times. You've got this tool that uh, that you use for athletes as well as just regular old individuals. Everybody. We've written about All it in the past. It's your it's your class four laser. Yes, and you've had a couple it, of them in your practice for yeah. a couple of years. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah, I started with the nine watt and then went to the fifteen watt, and so it is a it's just more power. Mm -hmm. And what that does is it allows for a really deep penetration to reduce inflammation. And so swelling of any kind, uh, certainly post-surgery, mm -hmm. um, we see flattening of, of, you know, when you have that swelling and that redness and everything after, after an incision. And some people will have that years later, and we will see wow. it flatten, and we will see the redness leave almost immediately in some cases. Not all. Uh, uh, but it has just been really fantastic. And so we've... We've enjoyed it both, as you said, with everybody and then very specifically for some athletes. Yeah. Now, uh, you had e emailed me and you said that it's now being used in the NFL, the, which yeah. is like, hey, how, how come it took so long? <laughs> but well, it's actually it's the alumni. You it's said. the Alumni Association. Uh, the NFL alumni has started to sponsor it. And so they are paying for X number of treatments. And so we have now started seeing some NFL alumni uh that has been taken care of by the mm -hmm. alumni it's, uh, the situation the alumni association so that has been really cool to see that kind of change and it's the particular laser that you have that's yes. here that's yeah, been approved it by it it's not some other brand nope. that does this. It is only it's basically the same thing. What yeah. brand is that? that, that well, you have it's is Light Cure. Okay. Well, there's a big difference because there's mm -hmm. a thing called cold laser, okay. which is a microcurrent. So it's a very, very small, when I, n not microcurrent, micro light. Um, same wavelength, same science, the power is so much different. Right. And that's why. This one was approved because it, as opposed to penetrating a few millimeters, this penetrates three and a half to four inches wow. with the, with, on the higher power range. And so it is able to reach so much deeper and make, and you'll see such a significant difference so quickly. Uh, and it's based on the power. It's not that the others don't have the same science, don't have the same stuff. It's just the amount of power that's able to be delivered. Hmm. And, and uh, I know it's used for healing but it's also used like by baseball pitchers to kind of warm, warm the themselves shoulders. up yeah, so it's it's pr it's preparatory as yes. well yes yeah oh yeah uh, and we've seen that you know 
when, you know, everybody stretches before and everything else. Mm -hmm. But yes, most specifically, it's been used with pitchers to warm up the shoulder. Yeah. And it's basically relaxing. You know, it's getting rid of any extra inflammation. That is what it was approved for. And that's what it's doing. It does speed healing 40 to 50 percent because it works on the mitochondria to speed that healing. And so it's really just been great. But uh, and we also have some current current uh, NFL players. So that's been fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for the regular person that's out there, for Uh somebody like me, um, you know, what kind of things can I come, you know, what parts of the body, what what kind of things can I come to you and say, hey, help me. I've got this issue with my elbow or my knee or whatever. And elbow, we do tons of golfer's elbow, tons of tennis elbow, uh, sprained ankle, um, wrist problems. But, yeah, I do a ton of golf uh, kind of (laughs) things. And and, and when you're talking about elbows, shoulders are the slowest to heal for anything because it is a complicated joint. And it it has a lot of flexibility, so it has a lot of reduction in stability. And so that one is just going to take a lot longer. uh, But... Oh, bruising, it cuts that in half. I mean, really? and so, again, post-surgery, we've done a lot of that knee replacement, different things. Post-surgery after a ACL repair, right. after any any type of repair. You know, shoulder surgery, knee surgery, uh, a whole bunch of different stuff like that. And there aren't any side effects, really, with something like this. You could try another type of treatment of a different kind. Sure. And you're not going to see any side effects with something like this. Well, I mean, we have not seen we have not seen negative side effects. We see lots of positive side right, effects. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's not a chemical. It's not this. So right, you're not right. going to have you're not going to have an allergic reaction. You're not going to have anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, and it's it's uh, very effective. Um, do you mix regular chiropractic treatments oh, along with this? So somebody comes in, they get an adjustment absolutely. that's specific to their needs. Well, and then and then, it, or does the laser precede the adjustment? Which way does it, it depends, do you go? Yeah. Completely depends. But I mean, if you're it, like if we're talking about uh, golfer's elbow, yeah. well, the, it's it's swollen because uh, there is some swelling in the joint, and if the two bones in the forearm are not lined up with the with the one bone up here then it doesn't we create more inflammation every mm-hmm. time you use it mm-hmm. so i want to adjust that to make it work better right. so that once we reduce the inflammation it doesn't come back immediately right. and stuff so sometimes we do the laser first. Sometimes we do the adjustment first. It completely I depends. I got you. Yeah, okay. It completely depends on uh, the situation. Sure, sure. Uh, most definitely. What does it feel like when you get It's just a warm, pleasant like sensation. Oh, really? You know, uh, I mean, you do have to. That's the difference in the class four. There is potential to burn if it's, you're not done correctly. Mm-hmm. Because of how much power it is and how much heat it's, it's. It's delivering light. Heat is not the treatment. Heat is a side effect oh, okay. of the treatment. But you do have to deliver it in the appropriate dose and just because i have 15 watts i may not use that much you know and and if you have a tattoo or something like that that's going to absorb that so we have to really Uh, turn it down okay uh lightness or darkness of the skin makes a huge difference it's how much it absorbs so we have to not the the darker anything is it absorbs more of the light and will burn faster so we have to be very careful uh in how we do that And so it is, whereas with a much lower power, you don't have that potential. Right. Uh, So that's, it's, it's the, you have to be trained to use this. This is not just an easy, easy deal. Yeah. But yet, uh, it, it, if an athlete injures themselves and they come to you or or get a treatment from a laser Mm -hmm. like this within a couple hours, it can really cut down on their healing time. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, I mean, I have watched swelling just shrink. I had a guy, he had his hand was so swollen, there was no dents at the knuckles, there was no anything. It dropped about a half an inch in the first treatment. It was was so cool. Yeah, that is... I was just... I mean, it was still really swollen. Let's be honest. (laughs) There was a long way to go, but it, it just visually, by the time he was done, it was... You... It was significantly smaller yeah yeah it's a step little step closer to the star trek treatments it, that you can get very, where they just yeah. wave the wand it's over the you closest your heel. to the star trek treatment as <laughs> anything i've seen it's been very uh, it's very cool sometimes man yeah so give me a couple of examples of some successes you had obviously you just filled us in on on one particular thing i know you had told me about uh, a very 
old woman that yes. came in that would walk in bent over yeah bent over yeah really bent forward and and just with the reduction in the low back um she could straighten up by the end of the time yeah. you know again this is a this was a chronic condition so it didn't last forever for sure but she would come in and do that um we i mean with one of our our NFL guys right now uh Achilles attachment was uh swollen mm-hmm. and so uh, would be able to get up off the table and have it completely non-pain free. Mm. It, it was completely pain free. Yeah, right. uh, when he would get up and and off the table when we were done with that, the um, the post surgery uh, yeah. it's unbelievable. And both we've had again replacements, uh, you know, joint so replacements, a new, a joint, yeah, and plastic surgery we've had some of that huh. where the swelling is what creates the pain yeah. and so you reduce that and people maybe didn't even have to have painkillers after that or really? just advil as opposed to a narcotic yeah so it just made that much difference very quickly that's interesting yeah, yeah it's that's been very very, cool. very interesting so how can people set up an appointment to, to get uh, treatment like this and to talk with you further about their their issues yes our phone number is 753 uh 4600 and 816 4600 right. Obviously, for information, you can find us at KansasCityChiropractic.com. Uh, I believe we're on Facebook and sure. oh, you all sure of those are. things. <laughs> you sure are. I, and I, we're on your YouTube channel. Yeah. And yeah. we're, you know, through uh, Kansas City Good Sports. So yeah. that's been great. Yeah, I definitely, I, I forward uh, share some uh-huh. of your Facebook postings yes. that Courtney does, uh, which she does a great job with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to talk with Dr. McIntosh again in our next segment. But right now we're going to take a quick break. You're watching or listening to Good Sports, the KC Sports and Fitness Magazine show. We're coming to you from Kansas City Chiropractic, the offices of Dr. Lynn McIntosh. Kansas City Chiropractic is located at 4510 Bellevue, just west of the plaza. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Come on out to the Kansas City Ice Center and skate on the outdoor pavilion or the indoor ice rink. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes at the Kansas City Ice Center. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. For more information on public skating times, to register for classes, or schedule an upcoming party or group event, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033. These days we're all so busy and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. And right now, you can save $25 on a one-hour massage when you mention KC Sports or Good Sports. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, call 816-753-4600 or visit kansascitychiropractic.com. Experience a touch of the Ozarks at Winterstone Golf Course in Independence and take advantage of the Pro Shop Holiday Sale. Visit the Winterstone Pro Shop at 17101 East Kentucky Road in Independence. Find them online at winterstonegolf.com or call 816-257-5755. Sign up now for Fall Leagues at Mission Bowl in Olathe. Visit their website, missionbowl.com, or call 913-782-0279 for more details. People today use hundreds of sources to find local information online. Have you Googled yourself lately? Bad online comments can irreparably damage you and your business. For a free online strategy review, contact Market Leverage at 816-600-0564. That's 816-600-0564. Looking to buy or sell real estate? Contact Bill Halberstadt from REMAX at 816-903-1519. That's 816-903-1519. Visit TeamworkSportsKC.com to sign up for upcoming December holiday baseball, softball, and soccer camps. And learn more how Teamwork Sports can help volunteer coaches with back office team management, uniforms and equipment, and indoor practice fields so coaches can do what they do best. Coach. Visit their practice facility at 310 West 80th Street, just off Warnell, or go online to TeamworkSportsKC.com. Grime, mildew, and bacteria build up and discolor grout, so gradually we often don't notice. KC Groutworks patented proprietary color sealing technology provides beautiful stain-free grout lines that never need to be treated. To find out more, call 816-448-5579 or visit KCGroutworks.com. 
Golf MD is now carrying custom Callaway and Mizuno. Visit Golf MD for club repairs, swing analysis, and custom clubs and fittings with the TrackMan Launch Monitor. Call Golf MD at 913 663 5050. Visit them at Strangline and College or go online to golf md.com. Whatever your sport, maximize your performance at Core Strategies Physical Therapy, Sports Performance, and Medical Fitness Center in Overland Park. The team at Core specializes in rehab and performance training for all ages and activity levels. To learn more about Core's sports specific programs, visit coreptkc.com or call 913 322 4000. Welcome back to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. I am Steve Fish. Today we're here at Kansas City Chiropractic, the offices of a regular guest on our show, Dr. Lynn McIntosh. Kansas City Chiropractic believes in a natural approach to health and wellness that is non-invasive and non-surgical. They provide chiropractic services as well as deep tissue laser therapy, acupuncture, massage, spinal decompression, physical therapy, and more. For more information, contact Dr. McIntosh at 816-753-4600 or visit their website, kansascitychiropractic.com. Or stay tuned because we'll be talking more with Dr. McIntosh in just a minute. Now in our current issue of KC Sports and Fitness, check out our Heartland Soccer Report presented by Market Leverage. This month, we introduce you to sports psychologist Chris Cobb. And coming up, on January 14th, we'll be at Teamwork Sports Baseball, Softball, and Soccer Facility, located at 310 West 80th on the east side of Warnell. If you'd like to have us come out and tape a show at your business location, call Good Sports at 913-764-2050. So here we are back at Kansas City Chiropractic. We're talking with Dr. Lynn McIntosh. She is a board-certified chiropractor. She's licensed in Kansas and Missouri. She provides her patients with general chiropractic care. She's also a certified chiropractor sports physician who also works with athletes. She's joining us again for the second segment of Good Sports. Thanks again for having us out here, Dr. McIntosh. Absolutely. Always appreciate Always you coming out here. Always yeah, fun. So, so you had a very exciting uh, summer. I uh, did. In August. It was you went to the Olympics. You're wearing an Olympic pin right now. I don't yes, know. Yes, that's the opening <laughs> ceremony pin. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so and, and, you know, we talked in another one of our shows about your experiences at the Olympics, but one of the things we didn't get around to talking about was you know how important the female athlete was in the olympics when you're this was a you know, for the united was, states it was it, yeah it, that's the reason we had the most medals it was absolutely a change uh nat- you know worldwide mm-hmm. that more women got to compete um and we were talking about how does this really change things people talk about why do we do this and i'll tell you what The experience was so unbelievable because it was 206 countries. Yeah. There is no way as as just a regular person I could ever have that kind of interaction. And I got to talk to people from all over the world. But some of the stories were just so amazing to me. Um, When they talked about uh, Iran had never had a Mm -hmm. female participant. Hmm. And so before... The London Olympics, they were like, look, this is an open uh, competition. And if you no longer, if you will not put in female athletes, you will be banned. And so in London, they had two at that Summer Olympics. And this Mm -hmm. year they had five. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's more than double, right? Yeah. So two and a half times. And and so even though that's a small number, that is a an example that their their women children never had right. their female children never had, right. and the same with uh, there was a country and I should remember but I don't uh, the, in and I think it's Northern Africa, but they had three female it was two sisters and a cousin mm-hmm. of one family <laughs> you know and again the president or the king or whoever it was like celebrated them and welcomed them and did all this kind of stuff. And it was a country where it, typically women do not have jobs. Right. And if they do have a job, as soon as they have children, and they're mostly encouraged to have children exceptionally young, mm-hmm. they never can go back to their job. And so between the last Olympics and this one, she had two children, the oh, wow. the, the the matriarch of the runners, <laughs> you know, and... It was to show, and that was her big thing, was to show females that they could have a career, and for her it was running, which also led to them being in a lot of other businesses, Mm -hmm. and then that 
after she had children, she could return to it. Right. And I mean, that is an example that they're not going to get any place else. Yeah. And the interaction with the Olympic Committee and how the acceptance is, it was just unbelievable. Yeah. It was just really cool. Well, sports is, I mean, you know, y- you talk about things like the Kaepernick uh, kneeling for the national anthem and, and all that. This this. It's similar in a sense that, you know, it's changed, you know, he's he's making people discuss things in a way that may be good or may be bad, you know, we all have our opinions on it, but it's similar in a way in the fact that it's changing things. It's causing people to see things in a different light yeah. and um, allowing people to talk about those things. And so sports can can be political. It <laughs> and can, can be you know. political. Well, it was, I mean... You know, there was a there was a time not that long ago yeah. where they didn't think women could run marathons. They mm-hmm. thought they were too weak, that they would pass out, that they couldn't do this. It would prevent them from ever having children. It was, <laughs> every possible thing that could happen to you was going to happen if you worked out yeah. in any possible <laughs> way. And it's like, uh, so to see the change in that attitude and to see uh, strong examples uh for not just you know u.s women but right. for around the world where maybe it's much more difficult was really was really interesting but all the athletes were just stunning i mean it was to see what what they could do um and it, it was fun because i got to see so many uh, female sports and male sports mm-hmm. i mean the men's basketball I had never been to an NBA game, so yeah, I had never yeah. seen up close really how big those guys are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I just it was it was an amazing thing to see how uh, you had the star of every team, yeah, and so exactly. it didn't matter who had the ball. And this was early before while they were still working together, which right. was really <laughs> good. And then, like with uh, with beach volleyball saw two women's matches and two men's matches and the same with diving got to see both men and women it was really spectacular it was really spectacular well i know you and for many years you've supported female athletes uh through um the sports commission and, yes and, 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 and yeah I, yeah for yeah DC and yes so absolutely. so yeah that that is a you know that's a huge factor that uh you got to see that up close it and, was really and personal and and uh, and then just realizing how much it impacts life. Well, uh, when is there? They will give you all the statistics of mm-hmm. women involved in sports have a better body image, yeah. less eating disorder, less likely to be in an abusive relationship. You know, have a uh, less likely to do drugs. I mean, so they have all the stats on how it affects how it affects them and in business later if they've been on a team yeah. whereas traditionally they only allowed women in in individual sports like tennis things like that where it was not a team sport as much and so that change like you know the guys in the huddle that is a that when you work as a team that is the same in business so there, there's just so many benefits yeah i know i remember uh, some sort of a statistic that said more of the women that are ceos of companies if you look back at their background, it, that that they was it. They were they were in they were involved in sports in some way and yeah. and a part of a team, and that allowed you know in some way that sh- that allowed them to get their leadership skills and they're uh-huh. working together with other skills and, and yeah, it's 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 very interesting how sports. I mean, we all love sports and we all get sure, involved in sports. Absolutely. We all want our kids to be involved in sports in a good way, but right. you know. It, 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 it can have lasting effects above and beyond, very even if you, much. even if you don't get the kid to play sports in college or professionally or anything like that. Absolutely. lasting It's a great foundation. Yeah. Just an absolutely stunning foundation. Yeah. 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 So we're always glad to discuss things like that, certainly. Um, Well, and and from a physical fitness standpoint, getting your kids, they talk about if a girl is not involved in sports by the age of 10, when she's over 21, there's only a, it's less than 10% chance that she'll ever be physically active in a sport, uh, involved in sports after that. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's, it's just really important from a health standpoint, from a, from a social standpoint, the business aspect, the foundation of communication and, and working together. Yeah. And I know there are a lot of kids that reach that point of, of 10 or 12 and they're burned out on that particular sport. So there's also the discussion of, well, the girl or the boy should yeah. play multiple sports so that way they don't get burned out and it works their muscles better right. and mm-hmm. it gives their muscles a break and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And, and you know, if they're burned out and they quit because it's too 
competitive for them, right. we've got to make sure that there's a, a place for those kids yeah. at that different level. And even at the Olympics, I mean, they, you know, they're, the rest days are built in. They have they have a whole plan of how not to overtax, and especially coming up to that point. It is amazing to me how the it, peaking at that right minute uh-huh. is it's just an unbelievable thing and that's anyone can win anyone can win the person that is always expected to win sometimes does but doesn't mm-hmm. always you know um so many changes so many possibilities where you see uh different well rugby is just my favorite you know this was the first year of rugby there is no no one expected Fiji yeah. to uh win <laughs> the entire world you know competition of 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 rugby so <laughs> and, and it was just such a great yeah. feel good story there were so many of those i couldn't believe i saw the woman compete that was 41 years old had been to seven olympics in gymnastics yeah no kidding she had a son older than some of her competitors and <laughs> and she made the finals i saw her in the prelims right. and she made the finals so right. i mean you just it's it's unbelievable you don't know where those athletes come from and right. what they can do and how long they can endure. And, you know, I was watching a hockey game, and uh, they were talking about a guy who's playing with 19-year-old kids, and he's going to turn 40 next month or something uh-huh. like that. And, you know, to play at that high a level at yeah. that age is is very rare. And yeah. it, it's very cool when, you know, especially as, as we <laughs> age, to be able to say, oh, wow, that guy's, you know, yeah. that, that guy's still doing the yeah. dream. And, and, you know, it's just amazing that he's still contributing and all that stuff. Well, yeah. Thank you, Dr. McIntosh. We really Absolutely. appreciate that we could go on and on and on yeah. about this. It's just so oh, much it fun. Was such a, it was such an amazing experience. Well, give us your phone number again and location. Absolutely. It's, we're on the west side of the plaza at 4510 Bellevue. It is 816-753-4600, KansasCityChiropractic.com. Facebook, we're on that. So yeah. any of those ways. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so check out their website and all the services that they provide uh, to you as well. That'll do it for today's show. Thank you so much, uh, Kansas City Chiropractic and Dr. Lynn McIntosh, for joining us and hosting us today. Be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again next week at the same time for Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show. And check out some of our other shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. So until next week, be sure to read all about sports, health, and exercise in Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. You'll find it on Online at KCSportsPaper.com and all over Kansas City. In this month's KC Sports Magazine, we feature the Chiefs, Tyreek Hill and Daniel Sorensen, plus the Royals and Mavericks, college and high school sports, youth sports, and more. And sign up for an email subscription on our website, KCSportsPaper.com. Plus, check out the Market Leverage Heartland Soccer Report, Chloe's Corner, the Wren Insurance Tennis Report, U.S. Army High School Top Performers, and the KCI Center Hockey Report. KC Sports is free at over 700 locations, plus online. Get your free subscription at kcsportspaper.com. Sign up today. And it's free, so pick it up today. More Excuses is Kansas City's only plus-size boutique featuring sizes large to 3X. Casual, career, specialty pieces or accessories, you'll find them at More Excuses. Call them at 816-781-3832 or visit moreexcusesplussizeboutique.com. SoPro Gaming is Kansas City's premier gaming center. Socialize, meet other gamers, host a birthday party, fundraiser, or private event. For more information, visit SoProGaming.com or call 913-703-5183. For 120 years, Ren Insurance Agency has covered Kansas and Missouri families with reliable, affordable protection. Auto, home, boat, life, flood, or renter's insurance. Ren Insurance has been covering local families since 1896. To learn how REN Insurance can protect you and in the process help others in the community, visit their website, reninsurance.com. That's W-R-E-N-N insurance.com. Or call today at 816-398-4111. Real people, real deals, real estate. Race properties and development buys houses. Call GP&D today and ask for MAP at 844-GPD-PAYS. Be a part of revitalizing golf by purchasing your copy of the Golf Hospitality Association Playbook for just $20. The playbook is for golf courses, beginning golfers, marshals, and course staff. For more information on the playbook and membership perks, visit golfhospitalityassociation.org or call 816-398-4110. 
Look for special offers at Papa's Coffee Express inside this month's KC Sports Magazine. Visit them at 124 South Forest and Liberty or call 816-415-0652. AG fans, game day just got even better. Fire Fan, the new free sports app, puts you in the game. Predict the score, call the plays, and earn points for great prizes. Text Bravo to 76626 to get a link and free tokens. Then play FireFan Live while watching NFL games. Text Bravo to 76626 for a link and free tokens.